Hi guys, this is Ranjit and guys who are directly jumping to this video. This video is actually part two of the Pixel 9 series. In the first part of the video, I have covered about the hardware features overview and about the Tensor G4 chipset, the battery life that I was getting, heating issues and stuff. In this video specifically, I will be highlighting the AI part of the Gemini AI and the various AI features found on this new Pixel 9 series. So anyways, here it continues. And that brings me to the main thing about this device and that is the AI and it heavily uh, uses the Gemini AI. And here is again one big difference that I've noticed between the two. Both of them will run the, uh, what do you say, AI models. But uh, with the Pixel 9, if you want the full functionality, that is the Gemini Live that I'll show you. You can talk uh, actually. Uh, it is a, actually a paid service and yes, even with the Pixel 9, you get it for free for one month. As you can see, I've taken some uh, photographs. Uh, it is just free for one month and it's almost 2000 rupees per month. But whereas if you go with the Pro series, the 9 Pro or the 9 Pro XL, uh, you get that feature for 12 months uh, free. So that is also a big thing. I activated with the this one, so I'm getting 12 months of free. Uh, so first let me just actually talk about the big hype about it i'll wrote it that is gemini live so again with both these if you just press the power button oops sorry i'll unlock that if i just press hold the power button for a second gemini comes but if you notice i have this one oops let me do it again on the corner if i press this one is actually gemini live let me just go there hi gemini can i ask you a few questions Absolutely. I'm here to answer your questions. What would you like to know? Okay, tell me uh, uh, the main uh, difference between the Pixel 9 and the Pixel 9 Pro XL in terms of hardware. Okay, here's the deal with the Pixel 9 and 9 Pro XL. They're pretty similar, but the Pro XL has a few things going for it. First off, it's got a bigger screen, great for movies and such. It also has a bigger battery, so it'll last longer between charges. And while both phones take great pictures, the Pro XL has a slightly better telephoto lens for those zoomed in shots. However, the Pixel 9 is still a fantastic phone with a smaller size that some folks- prefer. Okay, okay, tell me, is there any difference in terms of software? Nope, both phones come with the same version of Android, so they'll feel pretty similar to use. You'll get all the latest features and updates on either one. What about AI features? Uh, is there any difference? No, they both come packed with Google's awesome AI features. You'll be able to use Google Assistant, take amazing photos with AI-powered cameras, and enjoy other helpful AI tools on either phone. So as you can see, we can have a conversation with this. And in fact, when it's done, it actually also gives you in the written form so that, in fact, this I found it very, very useful to do comparisons and stuff like that easily. Uh, maybe a smartphone that I had reviewed last year, I was not remembering the specs. So I just asked, what is the difference between the last year's model and this model? And it gave me info like that. So again, this can be very useful and you can interrupt in the middle. Let's say it's answering something you don't want to know about that, but no, want to know specific something about that. You can interrupt and it works. So this worked brilliantly way better than what I expected. Also. Coming to another thing, and this you might not have noticed with other people talking about it, but if, if you have used the Samsung's, what do you say, uh, smartphones, even the last year they had uh, this one. In the browser, if you're using the Samsung browser, it has an AI feature which actually uh, summarizes stuff. And you can now do it even with this one. Let's say I will just go to Economic Times. And let's just open this up. And uh, let's just say this article, whatever, this first article randomly I'm taking. And it's a bit of article and I don't have time to read this one. So I can actually use the Gemini to create a summary. Let's just do that. Just hold this power button and you click this button about the screen. Can you give me, and now I will just say, give me a summary of this web page. takes a second and as you can see now this web page discusses potential also it talks about in a casa air in so it gives uh, let's say it has given you this you want more i would say i think so this is uh, doing better job 
Give me highlights about this web page. Sometimes it gives Sorry. this. I'm not able to access the websites you've See, sometimes it doesn't do it, but works most of them. Uh, one more thing that I found this pretty useful, and I thought this will not work, but uh, this Gemini Assistant also, let's say, I'll just use my own video so that I don't fall into copyright issues. Let's just go to my own video. Let's just open up this. not only, And uh, I'll just use the Gemini Assistant again. Ask about this video. Give me a highlight about this video. And we'll just... Sometimes it takes a little while, I would say 5 seconds, 10 seconds to do this. And this is about the Curve EV car that I had uh, uh, driven. So again... This video is about the initial impressions of the Tata Curve EV by Geeky Ranjit. It is not a full review. The video starts with Ranith introducing himself and mentioning that he was invited by Tata for a... See, as you can see, now it gave me the highlight and most information. And in fact, as, as I know, I made this video, it has extracted the most important info from this video. And I am, I'm actually liking this stuff because uh, I have seen some videos. I don't have time. I see it's a 25 uh, minute video or something like that. I'm just using this feature to get the highlights. So again, yes. This uh, Gemini uh, integration is done very well. Again, to be very frank, this Gemini Live that I was talking, etc., et is not exclusive to Pixel. If you have the Gemini Advance membership, you can even access it on a Samsung smartphone and most of the new Android smartphones. So it's not exclusive. But I think so the tight integration, what Google is doing now, is making all the difference. And these are some of the AI features that a lot of people are not talking about, but I found it time saving especially in video sometimes i uh, like a topic of a video but it's a 40 minute video i just don't have the time so i ask the assistant give me highlights or the summary so i know just of it what is that uh, okay uh, screenshots i've already told you uh, also again image manipulation is something that google is doing quite a bit we have uh, quite a bit of that i won't talk about that because many of the other reviewers have talked about it but again yes in fact, uh, let's just uh, let's go to the collections. No, let's just go to the photos, my library. Okay, let us just uh, let me just sh show you uh, that image editing that it is there. Okay, if you notice, this is the original photograph that I had taken. I'll just zoom in to give you an idea. And again, there was this car. I could easily remove it with the magic eraser, but. I just wanted to change the, as you can see, adjust the sky color, gives you suggestions. This is something that was generated like that. So it can do that, it can alter it, and the results are actually so good. If I just blow this up, you will think that this was in reality. The output that it is you're getting is actually very good. Uh, also, I found that this can be useful for photographs. And if you notice, this is a photograph that I know. Uh, this is the actual photograph that was AI generated, the previous. I'll tell you why, I'll show you. This is the actual photograph and I had taken it like this. So it's in this vertical mode like this. But if I go to this edit, uh, let me just lower the brightness a little bit. Okay, here I can hit this button. This is the new AI thing uh, that they have. And now just notice the width of this one. By default, if you click on this, you have options you can change the sky you can make it golden hour and all this thing that was there but this auto frame is something that is pretty interesting and again it takes five ten seconds to do it in fact i would say this ai stuff that it is doing the new pixel 9 series is a lot faster uh, than this one so i think so the new tensor g4 definitely the ai processing what it is doing locally is faster again if you notice if you have to notice this very carefully it has actually expanded the frame to give you an idea, this was the original photograph. This is how the photograph was taken, but it has expanded it. In fact, this area, it has auto generated like this. Again, you get a zoom up of that. This one is closer to the regular. And here it actually changed the portrait. And remember, we took the photograph like this. It made it like this, how it looks. So this can be useful. And uh, again, this was the original, to be frank. And see, it actually expanded the photograph and it generated this part and this part via AI and it's actually pretty convincing so this is something that is there i won't save it uh, let me show you one more example with a actually okay this 
photograph okay if you notice this is there this is a regular photograph house is there in the background and stuff let's see what this does if i go to this one again you have all the other options like your tools uh, portrait unblur zoom portrait blur whatever is there but let's talk about this one and now again i'll use this and i'll uh, i don't want to change the sky again you can easily do that as i've shown you earlier you can make it golden hour let's just do the golden hour now let's just give me that so manipulating images i would say has become way 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 easier again it gives you various options and you can just, just, just save it looks like this this looks nice but again i'll just get out of that and let's go to the auto frame because auto frame what it is doing if your photograph is this much also the first thing it will do is it'll try to widen it and this extra portion what is there that has been generated by ai so again so this is what it did this was generated by ai let me actually show you the original image just notice this was the original image and it has actually added this it created out of the box in like this and extended my arms also if you notice closely so this is what it did again this second image generally it makes a close-up of what you have done um, again here it has extended see all this is generated. this part this extra part of the house is generated by ai it's not perfect like it's in reality but again if a person does not know that it's a very convincing image and also this so again this is also a new thing and uh, you can manipulate photographs and stuff uh, for example your framing is not right or something uh, you can easily do that add a little bit with ai and most of the time i would say 90 percent of the time uh, the output that it gives is very very convincing so that is what i have noticed about that apart from that we also uh, get this new weather app and uh, i'll just select and it gives the weather with this visits and you can actually uh, make this up and down like this let's say you want the humidity on the top or visibility on the air pressure you can change it and also this gives you that ai weather report about what is happening but one bug i have noticed is that i have to invoke this weather app manually by default this is the default widget that came with the smartphone if i click on this one this is taking to the old uh, what do you say weather app so i think this is a bug when you have created this new weather app if i click here it should have gone there but yeah that's what it is small bug that i've noticed and um, we also have uh, one more uh, tool uh, ai tool that is known as pixel studio i found this in the gimmicky section i would say you can create stuff like this you can uh, write a prompt and it will try to create an image but you can't add your own image and ask it to do so i don't know how useful this is for example i can write uh, uh, let's say uh, create a beach sun set i'll just do that and it will just create an image out of it so it has created this uh, uh, bonfire okay so this looks pretty convincing i would say so you can adjust the prompt and create new images on the fly i don't know how practical it is maybe yeah, you can actually save it and it creates various uh, the last prompt that you give us here and uh, some people in background let's say to make it real i think so that people keyword sometimes it is like okay it created some people in the background then this looks a lot more convincing so you can create i can just save this image it's exported to google photos and i can use it as a wallpaper or something so this tool is there pixel studio yes it works but in terms of practicality i don't know how practical it is not like i can add a product image and ask it to manipulate or something like that uh, directly so these are some of the ai features that i know apart from that that translate and all those things are there but i feel uh, as now google is pushing this gemini on almost all android smartphones uh, on the chrome browser just like what samsung does on their samsung built-in browser here they should directly have an option of summarize the web page instead of me just hitting this button like this clicking here summarize web page 
this is a pretty long process i would say so and it waits for you you get it you get the gist so they could easily add stuff like this to make your ai processing uh, easier uh, another thing i notice again this pixel has been doing great but i feel here it has improved quite a bit as again if i go to the default keyboard i'll just you know, just something you can voice type on pixel smartphones and any android smartphone for a long long time <coughs> but now i feel the accuracy has increased a lot for example i'm just using the voice typing and this smartphone that is the pixel 9 pro xl is typing the message i hope it types it without any mistakes and as you can see perfect you have to go hit this to close in fact so these are some of the useful things that i've noticed in terms of ai uh, that i was using on a day-to-day -day, uh, usage yes there are some gimmicky stuffs also that you might use that pixel studio or whatever i've told you maybe it just wants to play around and forget about it but uh, again uh, that extraction of summaries from youtube videos is a real-time saver summarizing the web pages or even using the voice typing to type long messages it's surprisingly i would say 99 percent accurate for me so that is the big just that i have noticed about the new pixel smartphones it is heavily leaning towards the ai yes the camera is good i have taken some sample shots but again if in a nutshell if i would say if you are just going to upgrade it if you have the pixel 8 series or, or like the 8 pro or whatever and you want to upgrade just for the camera then i don't think so you will notice a big difference uh, i will be testing this as, in fact i am going on a, a road trip so for almost uh, six seven days i'll be using this smartphone only on mobile data i'll be carrying this one and also the uh, xiaomi 14 ultra so maybe i'll post a video after a week or something in fact I, i'll try to take uh, pictures with both the smartphones and see which one has a better camera in real world situation so if you want to know that and my full in-depth review of this pixel 9 pro stay tuned to the channel and guys if you want to know anything specific about this new pixel smartphones do let me know and i'll try to include those features or whatever you have asked if something is really important in the full in-depth review and guys if you're still not subscribed to the youtube channel hit that subscribe button this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys